Hi, I'm Claire. Welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I am going to be doing a young family apartment in The Sims 4. So, with all the new infant items that came in the base game, inspired me to make this young family apartment. I wanted this apartment to kind of feel a little older, and like these Sims are kind of getting their uh, furniture like handy down or at thrift stores. So. We are just going to be starting off in the kitchen, which I didn't really want to make it look that, like, handy down, just because I these kitchen items probably came with the apartment, came with the lease, and so, like, I wanted this area to look nice, but, like, like furniture, like, couches, and, like, the beds, I wanted those to look more handy down, and so I am just going to be adding this bread basket. I never used this one with the colors on it i thought it would be fun to use it like the toddler like colored on it but the parents either, either don't care or they're just like don't have enough money to buy a, another one and so we are just going to be going in to the living room and dining room i sometimes can't fit a dining room into like a normal sized house and so i thought it was really cool that i could figure out how to put a dining room into a more smaller apartment and so i did want to start off with this round table from jungle adventure but i do end up going with a rectangle square table and so we are just going to be adding that right now i really wanted to use some jungle adventure items i realized i haven't done items in that in that pack for a while or i haven't used items in that pack for a while and so that was also a little bit of inspiration in this apartment so we are now working on the living room i feel like the space turned out pretty well I have like some floating shelves with some kid items and some other decorations. I really wanted this to be like parents don't really care what's where, it's just like it's there, it's easy to assess. And so I also was thinking that maybe the toddler's still in diapers, so having like these changing uh, ch changing items would, like, in the middle of the living room would probably make a little bit of sense. Probably not, like, things you want to see your guests come over, see when they come over, but it is there. And this apartment isn't really meant, or isn't really designed for hosting since I didn't want it to be a smaller apartment. So maybe these sims just go out with their friends when there's, like, a city festival in town. And so we are just going be finding a side table. I took me a few attempts to find a side table that I like and I thought would function well for this space and so we are just going to be adding a few more details in the living room trying to find a good light fixture and I did want to have some nice springy uh, pet pillows on the couch but I do end up changing the swatch later on and so we are just going to be finishing up the decorating in the living room. Just going to be adding a few more clutter items. I kind of forgot that I halfway did this shelf. And I do like how now these bookshelves are function- Or this book stack of books is now functional as a bookshelf. Earlier, not like earlier, but like in the beginning, that stack of books was just an item that wasn't functional. And so I do want to, I did want to add some city festivals, like maybe they're like, like they were newer in the area and so they went to these festivals maybe as a couple. And so we are just going to be going and adding some decorations onto this coffee table. I feel like I needed one more layer because I feel like the top shelf was more of like a support for the TV that rather than decoration or like clutter and so we are just going to be adding some plants and going in to the primary bedroom this is just a simple bedroom although it did take me a little bit to figure out the colors i end up going with some blues because i felt like it was just kind of more of a calming color than this red that i have now and that kind of goes into the toddler and kids bedroom I don't think I mentioned this, but this is a one bath, two bed 
home or apartment and so we are just going to be adding a few more items from the jungle adventure pack and those side tables are from the parenthood pack i thought since this is for a family some parenthood items would be nice and not like out of the blue to add and so we are just going to find a dresser for this room and i actually found a dresser i wanted to use for the toddlers in the children's room and i put it there and so now we are just going to be adding some items or going back and finding the dresser i want to use for the primary bedroom and this i end up going with this more simple one than rather than the one from the jungle adventure pack and this looks easier a little less fancy more simple more like kind of newlywed items and so we are just going to be adding this mirror and i do raise it up so it is like out of the way of the toddler maybe they like touching the mirror instead of having the mirror up on the uh up off, up off the ground is better so the parents don't have to keep keep cleaning the mirror and i do love how that mirror is distorted not distorted but like like kind of rough around the frame because it helps with that like antique for store type of vibe i wanted to go for and it's just cool because it's like a leaning mirror and so we are now going to just be rearranging a few things in the living room and then we are going to be going in to the hallway this is kind of like a drop zone type of entryway i wanted to have and it just it's just kind of like a hallway into the main space so i usually have a chair in the front of like in the front by the door because I don't know, realistically, I like to have a place to sit down and take on and off my shoes, and just going to be adding a mirror, kind of the same idea with the mirror, with both of those mirrors, was like the rustic, antique look, I guess rustic isn't the right word, but like the distressed look, and so we are just going to be adding a little desk for a computer i thought like this was important as because computers are very useful and maybe one of the parents is going to university right now and so they need like a in-home office or a spot to do their studies and i just thought that was a nice feature and so now we are just going to be adding a few more clutter items, decorations, going to be adding some pictures. I try to keep all the frames in like the same room, the same colors, just because so it looks more cohesive. And now we are in the one and only bathroom. So I thought this bathroom was big enough to add a washer and dryer. Again, another pack I haven't used like recently and so I wanted to use it again and I forgot about that. I kind of had that pre-planned and I forgot about that and so that's why I went back to add the laundry basket in the primary bedroom and so I did want to have like a private kind of potty place for the sims although the toddler potty I had to put more in the open and so we do just have one sink in this bathroom so the toddler potty wouldn't interfere and I did get this idea from Carrie and Connie, their YouTube channel, of sizing down the big bath towels to make them look like smaller hand towels. And I did also get this rubber duck idea from them as well. It's just a cute little feature to make a playful, a space more playful. And so we are just going to be adding this broom and dustpan. I was just seeing what other items are in the lunch day pack and I forgot about the broom and I'm like that should go in the space and I probably could have made it blue but I went back to my old ways of making everything green and so we are just going to be adding some curtains through 
this main space I felt like it had just needed something I mean it's not like like black curtains but I just needed something there to kind of bring attention to the windows but it's subtle and so we are just going to be going back into the bathroom I kind of got distracted and so I thought it would be fun to have this laundry basket above the washer and dryer and then just going to be adding some other cleaning supplies possibly or like detergent out of the prying eyes of the toddler and so we are just going to kind of be finishing up that space and going in to the second bedroom which is the bedroom designed for a child and a toddler I'm just going to be adding this laundry basket, and I feel like the fox laundry ba basket also was kind of cute, or maybe it's a garbage bag, but it was just still kind of cute to add into this room next to the laundry basket, because they both are kind of in a wicker pattern or style, and so since this room isn't like the biggest, I decided to have a loft or bunk beds for the sims that are staying in this room and i wanted everything to be kind of blue and yellow i thought that was a good color combination for this space and just going to be adding some decoration in that to this desk area for the child i just thought it would be nice for like this them to kind of maybe get away from the toddler and have like a nice little space to like study on their own and they are kids so I just want to make a little bit of a mess in this room and so we are just going to be adding some clouds. I think I need to stop this habit of adding like my own type of cloud wallpaper. But I thought it was cute and so we are just going to be adding some other wallpaper, some, or not wallpapers, some other stickers and some other pictures just making this space look really fun and childlike and so we are getting close to the end of the video so please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button i hope you enjoyed watching i post new videos every single tuesday i posted two videos last week because i had to do a top 10 video for a school project so if you want to see my top 10 sims packs you can go see that last video if you want to play in this house you can find it on the sims 4 gallery it is called 17 cool pepper house you can also find me over on instagram my id is green underscore rose underscore sims if you want to play in this apartment and i hope to see you all next week for another sims 4 video bye